Hello everyone, welcome to Beauty in the Garden, I'm T. So in today's video, I am going to be putting together my Gorilla Cart. Now I did get this beautiful Gorilla Cart for Christmas and I'm so happy about it you guys because it came at such a perfect time you guys. Since I have so many things I want to haul around now, uh, this is going to be a perfect addition to the garden. So this right here is uh, the Gorilla Cart Steel Utility Cart. Um, so I'm really happy about this. I hope this. you guys are going to stay tuned as I go ahead and install this beautiful Gorilla Cart. Now there is so many different types of Gorilla Carts out there. Um, I have looked into the one that um, you can lift and dump. Um, and uh, I think that's going to be another perfect addition to my little suburban homestead, you guys. So let's go ahead, you guys, and jump into this video because it is very chilly out right now. The temperature as of right now is probably like maybe 45-ish. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and jump into this video and get this done. We are starting to lose some sunlight, so I'm going to knock this out really quick. So I hope you guys stay tuned to the video. Please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I do upload a video. Matter of fact, the bell is somewhere down at the bottom of the screen. Uh, you can share the content as well. That does help my platform reach more people. And um, matter of fact, you guys can follow me on Instagram, TikTok. I do have different things going on on each platform. So let's go ahead, you guys, and jump into this video. Now, this is the Gorilla Cart here um, that I got gifted for my mother and my uh, utility cart. It's a beautiful cart, you guys. And I'm gonna show you how quick and easy it is to install this. It says that it is simple to assemble. So let's put it to the test. All right, let's see. Here's two side panels. I can tell already these are the side panels of the Gorilla Cart. You put that to the side. Cardboard, we'll be using that in the garden. All right, so we have our instructions. And as far as I can see, it's not that many uh, washers and bolts here. So I can see how this is gonna be a quick assembly. All right, we have our instructions. Okay, they actually give you a thank you card. Thank you for purchasing right here. And it says to register your product now, join the Gorilla Cart community. So I guess now I am part of the Gorilla Cart community. All right, because I will be joining. All right, let's see what we have here. It says, oh, quick, easy assembly. Um, so the first thing up is you have here your hardware which you guys can see here, the steps, uh, step three, step four, step five. It's pretty simple instructions. And as well, it says tools required, okay? So we're gonna work these out and we're gonna go ahead and get these assembly tools. And I'll be right back. Tools um, right here. So uh, this is pretty much, I, I use a wire cutter um, part, but this is a um, needle nose. Um, right here, we have our monkey wrenches and a flathead screwdriver. All right, so let's go ahead and install this beautiful cart. The first step is part one. They already have a section out for us. So let's go ahead and grab those parts. Okay, so we need this part. Let's see what we got. That is a handle. Obviously, four tires. <laughs> Obviously, four tires. We put those right here. Okay. More cardboard we can use. Okay. Put back in front. We put this to the side as well. All right. More cardboard. 
you can use, y'all. Use your cardboard. Worms love it. Okay. Use that. Your worms will love it. Okay. So we got our base. That's right here. Nice weight to it, you guys. Nice weight to it. Um, I really like the fact that it has some weight to it. It's not uh, too thin. Uh, I've seen some that are very, very thin. Um, and uh, I'm really... I'm really liking the structure so far uh, that it does have some weight to it um, and not so flimsy okay so we got our base okay we're gonna flip it over to the sides right here that actually looks like little handles okay we're gonna flip that over okay so the first part is we're gonna install is this right here they do not have um, the instructions like the name of these items um, which I wish they did have a little bit more information um, on each item okay uh, the next thing up that I would like that I wish they would have done was um, put in some type of tools just in case uh, for the price too that it'll be able for people that don't have as many tools to be able to go ahead and put this together without you know trying to figure out uh what tools to use and fortunately i'm one of those people that have a ton of tools um and uh, some people might not have those so i think that a lot of the companies should invest in making sure that some sort of tool is put into uh the packaging just in case uh a person that purchases your item um can go ahead and install this without having to go back out to purchase um, tools okay but let's go ahead and jump into this video all right so we got our tools this is the part one is what we're going to uh, install okay let's go ahead in here grab part one nut washers on top okay hold on hold on hold on no 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 okay hold on nope this is what we're going to install this looks different you guys hold on let's go back out let's back out all right so let's see here All right. All right, so this is what we are installing right here. First assembly. Okay, this is the first assembly pieces, okay? All right, part one. We're going to loosely do this, okay? We don't want to tighten it up too quickly. Um, and try to look at the diagram as much as you can because uh, the diagram that is shown does not give you guys um, to me to me <laughs> um, not too great of instructions so pay attention uh, to the diagram and the holes um, that is provided onto the picture so that's going to help you out a lot without having to do the extra work okay all right all right this will be installed here okay we're gonna go up underneath all right first one in washer goes on and then we're going to tighten it okay as of right now what i'm doing is this loosely um install okay all right and now 
what we're gonna do is tighten it. Now, if I have, I do have, um, I do have the wrenches, okay, um, to crank. This will make this a lot faster, you guys. But I'm going to install it with the tools that they're telling you to. Um, they did not provide the measurements. So for those who um, don't have wrenches to go ahead and tighten these, you have to do it the way they're telling you if you do not have all the other stuff. So I'm going to do it as though what is provided, okay? But there are cranking wrenches where you can just crank it, you guys, and it'll go a lot faster, okay? Than, than this, okay? But we're gonna do it the way they said on this paper, okay? Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna be honest with you guys. The tools that they're providing for you guys um, to use, um, you might need some of them, okay? But I went ahead and got a wrench, okay, a crank, you know, so I can crank these nuts and bolts on. Um, I'm using a 14 mm, okay? So this is a 14 mm that I'm using. Um, this is gonna make this process go by so much quicker. Um, I do not recommend. Uh, I do not recommend going this route. Uh, it will be so tedious uh, for you. So, 14 mm, okay? What you want? What you want, girl? What you want, girl? What you want, girl? What you want, girl? Oh. Uh. Okay, so. Next step is um, installing these babies right here, okay? All right, let's see. Let's take this one off. All right, so we're gonna put these on. Uh, the wing in. All right, let's get the other one. Wing in. I call it a wing. Wing in. <laughs> let's see if I get you guys closer. Hey. Right. All right, they'll line up with the two holes. Okay, right along this rail. Okay, so this is the small screws that they have. You're gonna go ahead and insert them. Put the washer on. We're gonna loosely put the screws together. We're gonna slightly go ahead and put on the screws. And then we're gonna come back and tighten it, okay? Step one, this is step one, okay you guys, step one. way do not try the other ways it's, it's, it's a lot of work it will not be fast it is easy to assemble though Righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. The next step is the washer and pin. 
I'm quite sure we're gonna most likely need this. Okay, nice. Washer, it's gonna go right here. If you can see, right here, we're gonna put the washer on. And there's a little hole right here is where we're gonna put this pen. Okay. All right, we insert the pen. And now we're gonna bend it. Okay, make sure it's inserted correctly. And then we're going to, to bend it. All right. That's just to keep the pen from coming out, okay? You wanna make sure that pen does not come out, okay? that's all we're going to do I'm a little neat about it so I'm gonna make sure it's nice and pretty it should look just like this okay that keeps the pen from coming out all right see that and make sure okay it's in place all right that was step two on to step three all right step three is we're gonna go ahead and install this okay off all right we're gonna go to this end right here and we're going to install the other end this is where the handle is going to be all right the long bolts the long uh the long screws are going to go all right to hold this bar on I'm gonna do it this way so you guys can kind of see. I'm gonna install this this way. I'm gonna get it in here. All right, we got it in. Wash it on. Tighten it. All right. Gonna go ahead and install the little screws okay they're very short okay these are the short ones and we're gonna go ahead and install this piece right here okay always make sure always make sure to do it loosely and then come back and retighten Four. Uh, so what we're gonna do? Is we're gonna put these rings on first. Okay, I'm gonna show you what the fourth step is. Okay. All right. Get those pins. Do not lose your pins. Uh, your pins. You need your pins. Okay. Your pins is to lock on your tires. Okay. Uh, so what we have here is some rings and we have some washers and uh, we have four pins, okay? So let's go ahead and install our tires. We're gonna go ahead and put the ring on first, okay? Um, make sure that the air pressure gauge is on the outside, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and install our tire. The ring is on, that's to keep friction um, off of the base of the axle, okay, for your tires. Okay, now we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna put our washer on, on the outside of our tire, just like this, okay? Our washer goes on, just like this, and we're gonna go ahead and insert our pin. And we're gonna do the same exact thing that we did before, okay? Where's my needle nose? Okay, we can get our needle nose, okay? 
And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same exact thing. Is we're gonna make sure that pin is in place. And we're gonna take the longest part of the pin and we're just going to bend it, okay? Like a U, okay? Just the um, the longer part, okay? Not the shorter part, okay? And we just bend that in place. Um, it's not hard to bend at all. Um, it's very soft metal, so you should be able to bend that in place with no problem, okay? We wanna make sure that we put everything that they tell us to put onto our carts. We want our carts to last a long time, okay? So make sure we install it correctly. Okay, so the next thing up is uh, we're going to install the handle. Okay, so here's the handle. It's a nice handle. It has like a little uh, rubber, uh, uh, I feel like some type of rubber seal on the top so it's softened, you know, won't be so rough on your hands. Um, so we're going to go ahead and put this in. That's the last step. Step number five is we installing our handle. washer on right. and now we're just going to go ahead and tighten up our handle I was going to use the needle nose the whole and we're just going to crank it you guys all right so what I see here okay this is the front so it looks like this one goes here hold on hold on hold on this goes here this is the front okay goes in here slide this up a little bit and this is the back Okay, I was hand me those two, the mama. All right, thank you. All right. All right, so we have our sides here and our sides here. All right, so that's cool that you can let it down. Um, and uh, so this is how we tighten it up. All right, so you have your latch here. You latch it down, okay? Very easy to install to uh, latch it into place. Uh oh, I turned this one around. All right, here we go. All right, just a simple latch, um, which is cool. It's not like it's hard to uh, latch this cart into place. So, this is it. Look at that. Okay, so we're at the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, once again, we installed a Gorilla cart. It's gonna be a beautiful cart. I will be putting mine away, you guys, inside either um, my greenhouse to make sure that it doesn't get rained on the garage so it won't rust. Um, because it does have a coating on it, but I want it to last for a very, very long time. So I will be putting it away. 
but I hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I do upload a video I always tell you guys remember there's beauty in everyone's garden and bye bye